Okay, <clears throat> now we're ready to take some measurements of the, the force versus the current. I've got everything balanced, I've got the laser on, and the first thing I'm going to do is go mark where the laser is. So the idea is that when I balance it back, I want to, the distance between the wires will be the same when I get the, uh, the spot back on the mark. Now if I turn on the current, ramp up the voltage, you can see the dot rises a bit. And to counter that, I'm going to take one of these little 10 milligram weights and oh it's just a little piece of foil that I dropped let me get another one and I'll retrieve that one later I've got two okay and I'll put one on there and that weight pushes it back down a little bit, but not a lot. So I'll now lower the current until I get the dot, the laser back on the dot. And with this long, long baseline for the laser, I know I'm getting the distance between these. And there's your, your voltage reading, which tells you the current. I'll Add a little more oomph to it. Add a second 10 milligrams. I'll lower it. See, I don't, I go over it just to not let the wires touch. It wouldn't hurt anything if they did. I've got it balanced. And there's your reading. I'll take it up a little higher, add another weight. We're at three milligrams here. Oh, I almost got it back in the middle. I'll tune it so that the, the dot is right in my circle. And that's the current for three milligrams. I'll ramp it up again. I'm going to put four milligrams of weight. I'll adjust the current so that the laser is back to where it was. And that should be it. That's your reading. More current. Doesn't have to go up too much, right? You can see. Moving the dot, I'll add another 10 milligrams if it'll come loose. Oh, that one scampered away. I'll find it. There's another 10 milligrams. I'll let this settle down and retrieve my missing weight. Am I in the circle? Okay, increase the current, add weight to bring the balance back in place. Oh, I'm getting good at this. That's a little too much. Okay, I'll add another 10 milligrams. And I'll adjust the current to get back into the circle. You can see the dial on the meter. Increase the current slightly. Add more weight. Oh, 
we're up to a volt. That means 10 amps on the wires. I bet the return wire is getting a little warm. It is. Okay. There's your reading. Oh, I lowered it just a little bit to get there. So I think that's your reading. More current. My little bit. Add more weight. I really should keep my ring out of the laser. That laser safety is, you really should remove jewelry, but this isn't coming off. I should tape it. Okay, tune it till it's back in balance. I've forgotten how much weight I've put on, but hopefully you have not. And the nice thing is we're recording this. Okay, more current. More weight, bring it back into balance. As you can see, it takes more weight to hold the wires together. When there's more current, there's a stronger force of repulsion. Let's do one more weight. All we really need are enough data points to make a straight line for your linearization. So I think we've got enough data here. I'll do one more. And you know, if I'm a little under or a little over in balancing, as long as it averages out, you'll still get a nice straight line, as long as you've got the right linearization. OK, let's call that the last reading. That's balanced. There's your current. and. That's a date, that's a run, that's, your, that's the data you need.